Hello, out of x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 over x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 1. To find the value of x, say that x is element of a real number. So first we start to multiply x plus 2 times x plus 5. Then bracket bracket x plus 2 then times x plus 5 bracket then times we multiply x plus 3 times x plus 4 so bracket x plus 3 times x plus 4 bracket then over we start to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 5 so bracket x minus 2 bracket then times x minus 5 bracket then we'll multiply x minus 3 times x minus 4 so bracket bracket x minus 3 then times x minus 4 bracket then it is equal to 1 then our question will be bracket x times x is x square x times 5 it will be plus 5x then 2 times x it will be plus 2x then 2 times 5 it will be plus 10 bracket then x times x is x square then x times 4 it will be plus 4x then 3 times x it will be plus 3x then 3 times 4 it will be plus 12 bracket then over x times x it will be bracket x square x times negative 5 it will be minus 5x negative 2 times x it will be negative 2x negative 2 times negative 5 it will be positive 10 bracket bracket then x times x is x square x times negative 4 is negative 4x negative 3 times x is negative 3x negative 3 times negative 4 it is positive 12 bracket then is equal to 1 then in next step our question will be bracket x square then 5x plus 2x to be plus 7x then plus 10 bracket then bracket x square 4x plus 3x it will be plus 7x then plus 12 bracket then over x square bracket x square negative 5x negative 2x it will be negative 7x then plus 10 bracket times this x square negative 4x negative 3x it will be negative 7x then plus 12 bracket is equal to 1 then in next step we will let this x square plus 7x plus 10 we we'll let a is equals to this x square plus 7x plus 10 and then we let b is equal to this x square minus 7x plus 10 then in next step our question will be this we let us a then times bracket then from here x square plus 7x which is same as x square plus 7x then in here is plus 12 in here is plus 10 so in this side is two more therefore it will be a plus 2 bracket then over in here we let us be so here is x square x square negative 7x negative 7x 10 12 so in this expression is two more therefore in here it is b then bracket times in here it will be b b plus 2 bracket is equal to 1 then in next step we'll cross multiply so this one is same as 1 over 1 
then we'll cross multiply, then it will be this times 1. So it will be a bracket a plus 2 bracket is equal to this times 1. So it will be b bracket b plus 2 bracket. Then in next step, it will be a times a is a square. a times 2, it will be plus 2a is equal to b times b is b square. Then b times 2 to be plus 2b. Then in next step, we take b square to the left side. So it will be a square minus b square, then plus 2a. We take 2b to the left side. So it will be minus 2b is equal to 0. Now, from here, a square minus b square is a perfect square. So it will be a plus b bracket then times a minus b bracket, then plus, in here 2 is common. So we take 2 out of bracket, 2a divided by 2 is a, negative 2b divided by 2 is negative b, bracket is equal to 0. Then in next step, from here a minus b is common. So we take a minus b bracket out of bracket, then this divided by this is a, bracket a plus b bracket, then this divided by this is 2. So it will be plus 2 bracket is equal to 0. Then in next step, from here we have two solutions. We have first solution is a minus b is equal to 0. And the second solution is this a plus b plus 2. a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Now to solve from the first solution, we take negative b to the right side, so it will be a is equal to b. Then in next step, from a is equals to b, but before we let a is x square plus 7x plus 10, so we substitute the value of a, which is x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to b b before we let b is x square minus 7x plus 10. So it is equal to x square minus 7x plus 10. Then in next step, our equation will be this x square will cancel with this x square. This 10 will cancel with this 10. Then in here is 7x, in here is negative 7x. So we take this to the left side. So it will be 7x plus 7x is 14x is equal to 0. Then in next step, we divide by 14 in both sides. So this and this will cancel. Then x is equal to 0 divided by 14 is 0. Therefore, this is the value of x, which is the real number. Then in next step, to solve from the second solution, which is a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. So, from a plus b plus 2 is equal to 0. Then we substitute the values, whereas a is x squared plus 7x plus 10, and b is x squared minus 7x plus 10. So, we substitute to be a is x squared plus 7x plus 10, then plus b is x squared minus 7x plus 10, then plus 2, is equal to 0. Then in next step, x square plus x square is 2, x square. 7x minus 7x is 0, so this and this will cancel. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So it will be plus 22 is equal to 0. Then in next step, to solve from this quadratic equation, Whereas a is equals to coefficient of x square is 2 and b is equals to coefficient of x is 0 because here there is no x. So it will be b is equals to 0 and c is equals to constant is 22. Then from the determinant formula is equals to b square minus 4ac. Then determinant is equals to b square. It will be 0 square minus 4 times a, a is 2, 
times C, C is 22. Then it will be determinant is equals to 0 square is 0, negative 4 times 2 times 22. It will be negative 88, whereas from here it is less than 0. So if it's less than 0, there is no real solution. Therefore, the only value of x is x is equal to 0. Now, to check if the value of x is correct from our problem, to check for the value of x is equal to 0, so we substitute the values of x in our problem. So it will be 0 plus 2, it will be 2, then times 0 plus 3 is 3. Then times 0 plus 4 is 4. Then times 0 plus 5 is 5. Then over 0 minus 2 is negative 2 times 0 minus 3 it is negative 3 times 0 minus 4 it is negative 4 times 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Is it equal to 1? Then in next step, from 2 times 5 is 10, then times 3 times 4 is 12, over negative 2 times negative 5 is 10, times negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, then is it equal to 1? Then 10 times 12 is 120, over 10 times 12 is 120, so this and this will cancel, then it will be 1, which is equal to 1. So left side and right side are equal, therefore it's true for the value of x is equal to 0. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.